The Acrobat 10 Suite contains numerous tools to help enhance and improve your business information. The Acrobat 10 Suite, which is available only for Windows, contains Adobe Captivate 5, Adobe Presenter 7, Adobe Photoshop CS5, Adobe Lifecycle Designer ES, and the Adobe Media Encoder CS5. In this video tutorial, we'll explore using the Adobe Presenter component of the Acrobat 10 Suite to turn a simple PowerPoint file into a dynamic, self-running presentation. In this particular example, we have a PowerPoint presentation that instructs speakers at a conference on how to use the projection equipment. Now, many of the conference speakers have already attended a conference call reviewing this information, but now I need to make sure those who could not attend the conference call receive the same information. I could simply create a PDF of this content and send it out to the speakers, but then none of the audio or Q&A that was presented during the conference call would be included. So, to address this, I'm going to enhance this particular PowerPoint presentation, and I'll also add an interactive component to assess the effectiveness of the content. Specifically, I'll be adding narration, video, and a survey to the PowerPoint file. Now, the first thing to note is that Presenter is not a standalone application. Instead, it's a plugin to PowerPoint, just like the PDF Maker macro that Acrobat 10 installs. It will appear on the menu, and the commands can be accessed via the ribbon in PowerPoint, versions 2002, 2003, 2007, or the 32-bit version of 2010. Now within the ribbon, you'll find settings for publishing your presentation, importing or adding audio, video, flash files, or even the ability to add quizzes. In addition, the application section allows you to set up preferences, such as bio information for each presenter. Let's go ahead and get started by creating audio for the first slide. When I select the record button, I'm automatically prompted to test my microphone level, ensuring that I don't sound like a mouse when I'm done. Next, an independent window will appear where I can select the page that I'd like to place the audio on. I can also add a script for each slide so the information is searchable, and you can also include notes from PowerPoint directly within the script. So I'm going to go ahead and add my PowerPoint notes to the script and just record the first sentence. By sharing your expertise and personal experiences at the Meridian Conference, you are paving the way for a successful future for all of the attendees. When I click the OK button, the audio will automatically be included within the page, although you don't see it on the screen. You can also use the Import Audio command to bring in a previously recorded audio segment and then sync it with your slides. You can even sync specific PowerPoint builds using the Import or Sync commands. Limited editing of your audio is also available to remove the inevitable ums or silence that may happen to occur. Next, you can capture video from a webcam or import a video. I have an existing video that will embed right within the slide, but you can also place a video in a sidebar outside the presentation area. Now this video import dialog is very simple for users who may not be familiar with the video tools. You can import Windows Meta files, QuickTime files, or Flash video. You can adjust the quality of video on import if you're using a Windows Meta file or QuickTime file, but not a Flash file. The video will appear as a white box because we haven't published the content yet, so I'll go ahead and move it to the upper right hand corner. You can also do basic video editing in case you need to your fade in or out, trim, or mute the video audio. In this case, we're going to delay the video because we already have audio on the first slide. To test the understanding of the users reviewing the content, or to simply provide feedback, you can use the quiz capability of Presenter. As an example, the last page of this presentation already has a quiz built into it. Now to track feedback information from quizzes, you'll need a suitable server to collect the information. Once you finish adding interactive content to your presentation, you'll find three options to publish the information. Locally, which creates a flash presentation that can then be manually uploaded to your server. You can also create a CD version, complete with auto run file, or you can publish directly to Adobe Connect Pro server if you have one to share online. And last, you can publish the presentation to Adobe PDF 
complete with all animations. This option creates a single independent file you can use offline or email to others. This option is especially useful in situations where you need to keep the file small for low bandwidth recipients. Note that recipients will need Adobe Reader 9 or higher to view the published file. You can also control the appearance and other settings of the playback skin. You could even attach a file to include with your presentation. Now I'm going to go ahead and open a pre-existing version of this particular presentation that I previously published to Adobe PDF. As you can see from viewing the resulting PDF in Acrobat or Reader, Presenter has created a table of contents skin that you can use to move around within the presentation. You can see notes, search for words, and even view attachments if there are any. And also because we imported the video from the presenter menu, you'll have a scrubber that allows you to pause and move forward and backward within the presentation. The same scrubber does not appear if you import video directly into PowerPoint outside of the presenter menu. Let's see how our audio and video works on this particular page. By sharing your expertise and personal experiences at the Meridian Conference, you are paving the way for a successful future for all of the attendees. By sharing your expertise and personal experience at the Meridian Conference. So, as you can see, Adobe Presenter allows you to enhance and refine your existing business information by adding audio, video, and feedback tools into your presentation. You can also easily deliver this information in a single polished PDF file. Adobe Presenter is a valuable component of the Acrobat 10 Suite for any business user.